Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube viewers and my Ghost Rider Posse. This is your man, Ghost Rider, coming back to you once again. Hey, just to give you a little update, I'm sitting here in Sanford, Florida. I made a delivery yesterday in West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, that was interesting. Um, everything's been going, oh, it's been going it's been going good. It's been going good. I have to say, for the most part, it's been going good. The heart, the biggest thing is just, you know, catching these loads on a load board. I'm trying to get away from uh, not really working off the load board. So I'm still in that phase of trying to establish, you know, relationships with with these different agents and whatnot. That way, uh, whenever they see that my truck is in the area, they can call me up and say, hey, you know, I got a load going such and such. Just like yesterday, I had I did a run for a, another agent, and um, he saw me around there, and he called and wanted to know if I could pick a load up uh, out of Atlanta, but I had already booked another load. Boy, let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys, uh, I almost did a load that I really, really didn't feel comfortable with, but um, certain things happened where I was able to, to really get off that load i was really dreading that load because i had heard been hearing so many horror stories about this particular load and uh the horror stories i was hearing was kind of throwing me up there with the same way uh when i ran that potato load well this was going to be i don't know if you know about florida but this time of year uh watermelons they start hauling watermelons left and right out of here and uh, I had booked one because I'd never ran watermelons before, but I was just going to try it. But then after reading all the comments and hearing about the horror stories, I was just like, uh, I don't know if I want to go through that. You know, the load was 42,500 pounds. Uh, it was paying pretty good um, going to uh, what was it going to go to? It was going to deliver in, uh, I think, Virginia. I can't remember. It was up up north, Virginia, Pennsylvania, or no, Richmond. It was going to deliver to Richmond, I, I believe it was. Uh, yeah. But I just kind of just didn't feel, well, it was just a course of events. When I, when I, when we booked the load, it was like, yeah, 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 it's still available. So then... We booked the load, but then when I got the freight bill, there was no address, there was no shipping address, no nothing. I'm like, what's up with this? And so he he was like, well, we'll, we'll just uh, you you don't have that information, but we'll send it to you on the day of pickup because I had booked it like a couple of days in advance because I knew I was going to be down, you know, around West Palm Beach and then picked up in Wachula, Florida. So I was like, uh, okay, cool. But that threw up a red flag. I, I I don't like that, you know. So then when I delivered yesterday morning, you know, I'm like, hey, you got the info yet? And he was like, oh, no, no, I'm, tr I'm trying to see. I need to wait to see where I'm going to, uh, where you're going to pick up at. Wait a minute, where I'm going to pick up at? But when we booked this load, there was a place a, a pickup place and a delivery place. Now it's the day for me to pick up and you don't know where I'm going to pick up at? That threw up another red flag. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Then they call back like, hey, are, are you are you unloaded yet? I'm like, no, I'm still waiting here to get unloaded. Uh, oh, okay, because wow, they're needing, uh, they're needing early trucks. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. So I'm like, all right, we, we finna get on this thing. Well, when I got unloaded, I called back and they were like, uh, we're, we're working on it. We're trying to see... Uh, See where, where, where we're gonna have you unload, where, where we're gonna have you pick up at. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not gonna go through this. But un unfortunately, I, I, I was just feeling uneasy, but what had happened was when I picked this trailer up that I'm on, it's like almost a brand new trailer. And if, any, if you drive for Landstar, Land, they're, they're strict on their trailers. And not only that, um, they have this thing called 120 day inspection where you have to every 120 days you got to get your truck and your trailer inspected and the biggest thing with dropper hooks is quote unquote a lot of these drivers they don't want to do it and so end up they'll end up 
they'll they'll hang on to a trailer then when it gets close to inspection time then they'll go and and, and load a drop a hook so they can drop that trailer off so they don't have to worry about taking the trailers in to a ta or a loves to get it inspected so basically it just throws it on the next driver huh no that doesn't happen in trucking no sir never uh-uh we're all good citizens we're all want to treat the next man like we want to be treated huh but anyway this was a brand new trailer, and I noticed that where I picked it up at, the place was real, real tight. Um, and I noticed it was like a scrape mark on the back, lower back end of the trailer. So I'm like, oh, no, I'm not. I took pictures, and I'm like, oh, they're not going to blame me for this. So I did a rookie mistake and annotated it on my pre-trip. Never do that. I mean, you're supposed to, but for I, I think for a major thing, you do it. But if you do it for, basically the rule of thumb is whenever you annotate anything on your pre-trip, it's automatically going to put you out of service. Automatically. Especially in this thing, what this was, was just like a, a scrape. All it did was put a little indentation and scrape the, scrape the paint. Um, I was just doing it just to cover myself, but wasn't thinking really that, hey, okay, this is going to go, if I put this on a pre-trip, what I should have did was just call them a little no and say hey this is what's going on man I'll make a long story short um i just put some uh clear gorilla glue tape over it just to protect you know the rest of the paint and stuff like that and it's 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 it's, it's fixed i mean there's no major damage there was no uh puncture wounds or it, it's nothing the trailer is fine but that was my excuse to get off that load because uh, technically when, when you're down You can't book no loads or receive no loads Or anything like that And so that's how that went down So I got out of that watermelon load And I'm real real glad I didn't take that watermelon load Because I just Like I said I just heard so many horror stories The biggest thing is watermelons you, you, You're doing all this waiting And then The place where you're picking them up It's like a long line It's going to take you forever to get loaded and then when you finally get loaded and get it delivered, there's a strong possibility that you can get your whole load rejected. So now you're having to go find a place or they have to go find a place for you to go dump those water. I just I just didn't want to roll like that. I just didn't want to take that chance. So I'm, I'm glad. So now I'm sitting here in Sanford. Man, I booked. Well, I didn't. My, my back office. Boy, we found a good load coming out of here. It's a, a FedEx brokerage load. It's a, uh, it's it's really good. It's gonna. I'm dropping it off in Maryland. Um, man, if if you keep seeing me looking up and stuff, it's because I'm. This place is real, real small, and it's, it's on like a back alley type place. And as a matter of fact, I'm sitting outside the road. It don't even have a a, a a real dock. It's really not set up to me. Not set up for a 53 footer. It's almost like for a box truck. Um, and I'm sitting across the street long ways waiting for them to open up because what I'm going to have to do is open my doors and back across the street to the dock. Uh, it's not big enough for me to back to the gate when, where the gate is closed because then I'll be I'll be uh, crossway. I'll be blocking blocking the street. So I'm just waiting. They're supposed to get in at 8. But Man, it's it's going. Hey, I, we're about, we finally got it flipped around, and so uh, we're doing good. We're doing really, really good. Uh, I'm liking Landstar. I'm just, you know, just in this learning curve, just trying to uh, get used and, and get get myself out there so I can get familiarized with the customers and the seasons and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on real quick, man. It's been nine minutes, but thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to the old. The Ghost Rider Posse that's been hanging in there with me. Uh, man, I really enjoy y'all's comment, and I thank you for your support. And I'm going to be, uh, I keep saying it, I keep. I know, I keep saying it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be bringing you some more in-depth uh, content. Uh, just give me a minute, you know. I'm, I'm trying to get, get used to this learning curve. Uh, it's a new thing, uh, but we're going to get it. We're going to get it, and we're going to ride out. All right, y'all? All right. All right. Until next time, like I always say, peace out, and I'm keeping it moving.